Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? So we're a little early tonight. Another hot day. So the reason I'm a little early is because I'm planning to use the barbecue tonight. <clears throat> so we're going to have to change up the routine a little bit. So when I bring out your food, I'm actually going to go out to the barbecue and start it before I feed you. That way I can preheat the barbecue while I'm feeding you. And then I don't have to wait as long. <clears throat> so I guess we'll see how that goes. So that means I'm going to have to stop the camera probably. Uh, so I can work the barbecue. <clears throat> so I have your meaty pate super supper with kibble. Well, at least he didn't hiss at me today. So yesterday you walked up to the screen and you hissed at me for no reason. Okay, well, let's get this started, because, yeah, I need to get the barbecue started. So I already moved the barbecue earlier today. So I just need to turn it on now. Hey, not stepping back. So I'm going to change up the routine and come in. I don't think you are. Take a step back, just see what you do. So yeah, it's hot in here, just like it is outside. So there's no benefit to coming in. So we're going to let in all the flies. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to grab, uh, so I'm going to put this on the table. I'm going to bring out the water, close the screen door, and then I'm going to confuse the heck out of you and start the barbecue. So I'm going to walk past you and I will be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm back. It just took me a minute. So I'm going to change the water. Mm -hmm. Water's kind of dirty. Put in your new water. And I'm going to sit in the chair and see what you do. Okay, so I got the glove on. He brushed up against my leg, or his tail is against my leg. Okay, so now we're back to the normal routine. He didn't meow. So yeah, it was a hot day again. But it actually didn't get as hot as they predicted. So I think it was closer to yesterday. It was actually supposed to be uh, hotter today. I think yesterday was pretty hot too. <clears throat> I actually think. It was maybe a little bit hotter today, but not as much as they predicted. However, I also think that they um, it didn't heat up quite as fast. And I think it's actually a tad bit cooler right now than it was at this time last night. So I think it's cooling down a little bit faster. And uh, not that much. The past few nights have not been cooling down at night very well, so the house has been really hot. So I usually try to open up windows and stuff at night to cool down the house, but it's not working because the outside is not cool. So 
So looking at the forecast today and how hot it was going to be in the afternoon and evening, I realized I shouldn't even try going out for an afternoon, evening bike ride because it's just going to be too hot. So I got up kind of early-ish. So I've been having trouble sleeping, so getting up early is not always easy for me. But I got up early enough where I was thinking, gee, I should go for a bike ride in the morning. Ideally, I'd get up at sunrise, but yeah, that's just too early right now. Ironically, some days when I have a really hard time sleeping, I get up before sunrise, and that should be the perfect time. But, um... Yeah, today that didn't happen, and uh, so I try to sleep when I can, because I have such trouble sleeping sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I got up kind of early morning still, but by the time I got everything going and dressed and whatever, it was mid-morning before I actually was able to get on the road on my bike and by mid-morning it was already starting to heat up considerably so still better than if I went this afternoon but it was still warm or hot so it was still uncomfortable so I didn't try to do the exposed mountainside hill climb number one or two is already yeah it was too it was too hot and then because I went in the mid morning the UV index was already rising pretty high so I stuck to uh, more shaded routes I thought about doing the hill climb number three which is on the other side of the valley and has some shade but it's really steep and um, by the time I got there yeah, I was already kind of hot and exhausted and just, I actually had some pain in my leg I don't think it's from the crash though the bicycle accident I had last week I think it's actually just fatigue I've been probably over using the muscle or something so my leg was kind of hurting and it's like eh. I'm already pretty borderline here. I don't, I don't think I want to do this. Uh, I didn't do it. So I actually had a slightly easier, slightly shorter bike ride today because I didn't push myself quite as hard. But the heat, yeah, it was definitely an obstacle. And um, yeah, not much of a morning person in general, so he lifted up his legs there. So I have a notification about a software update on my screen right now. It's blocking my camera a bit. It's pretty annoying. And I, I worry if I try to do something to clear it, and then I'm start a software update <laughs> so I don't want to touch it but yeah I hope the video is coming through so I was uh, trying to adjust my schedule all day since I you know, went for the bike ride early so I'm not used to that fortunately I didn't have any like critical things I need to do during the day today during normal business hours. So I can smell that barbecue heating up. So this afternoon, yeah, I actually did come out onto the deck to boat, to one, do some pull-ups, just because 
So well, I got my afternoon clear since I'm not bike riding and it's starting to get hot, so I was getting uncomfortable I'm trying to focus on work related stuff. And then too I wanted to move the barbecue into position and clean it out so it was ready for tonight because I didn't want to wait to do it after I feed Scruffy because that would just take longer tonight and means I'd be eating really really late. So I, when I came out I, I didn't see Scruffy all day so I think he hides somewhere else when it's hot. And so when I came out and moved the barbecue I did notice him he was under well, that was an interesting bite. Got his whole jaw around my glove there. But anyway, yeah, he was under a table that's on the side. And uh, he saw me move the barbecue and decided he didn't like me there. And so he ran under the deck. And then as I was doing my pull-ups, he finally eventually came out and watched me from very, very far away for about a minute, I'd say. <clears throat> and then he decided to turn turn around and then uh, leave the deck and go into the garden. I didn't see him again. So yeah, he doesn't like me out there. I said hello to him a bunch of times because I've heard that yeah, cats are not so good at the visual recognition, but they can be pretty good at the audio recognition, but yeah, he didn't seem to care. Okay, well, we're getting close to time here, Scruffy. Oh, you want more in the back, huh? I'm actually sweating right now. It's so hot right now. So I fed him a little bit later last night, so it was a little little bit cooler, but not by much. And then I'm wearing all the heavy clothes for protection against Scruffy, which makes it even hotter. Okay, so we're gonna try the food now. Yeah, there's another pet. Okay, well, I'm yeah, still into it. So I keep on wrapping this up. That way I can start my dinner. And we're about time here, so. But yeah, you seem to like the pets tonight. So I don't know. Doesn't like me in the day, runs away. But yeah, at dinner time, yeah, he's friendly. It's kind of strange. Be nice if he's a little more consistent, not being nice. Okay, I think calming down again. So Okay, let's get your food, okay? One more? Okay, let's do your food. Okay, here's your food. And I'm grabbing the brush. There's a lot of leaves, probably from jumping into the garden. He's trying to get away from the brush. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh, here, my forehead's dripping sweat. So, 
Tomorrow is supposed to be hot again. Actually, it's supposed to be hot for over the next week. But uh, tomorrow is supposed to be very similar to yesterday and today. It's supposed to be cooler than today, but hotter than yesterday. But since today wasn't as hot, I'm hoping tomorrow might cool down a bit. And then the heat wave is supposed to draw or drop noticeably. So it's still going to be hot, but yeah, it's probably going to be like somewhere between five to ten degrees cooler. So not as hot as now, but still hot. <laughs> But, uh, that that drop will at least make it poss possible for me to maybe uh, to exercise in the late afternoon, early evening. So I may not have to get up at sunrise. But you know, play it by ear. I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I'm supposed to do a long run tomorrow. But since it's supposed to be so hot, unless I get up at sunrise, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm thinking I might just take a rest day, stay in, and wait for it to cool down on the next day. So I'm finally going to barbecue. So this is the first time I've, I'm going to barbecue, I think since last summer actually, or maybe fall. Our fall, center summers are kind of indistinguishable. It's kind of one big giant blur. We're all, we're all hot and dry. So I'm going to have my cheat meal tonight. Because, yeah, I'm having, crave, having strong cravings this week, and yeah, my diet's not been so good this week. So I think I need to just yeah, do the proper cheat meal and get it out of my system. And then reboot. And hope I get back on track. I bought more vegetables the other day to snack on, so I'm hoping, hoping yeah, thinking. So when I do break my S diet and start snacking, uh, the vegetables will contain my damage. So I bought uh, extra fresh broccoli, so I just snack on that, and then I bought a bunch of uh, bags of mini peppers. So they look like. They don't look that mini to me, but uh, you know, they're kind of like bell peppery type things. So they're different colors, yellow, orange, red, no green. Yeah, they're not as big as like a big giant bell pepper, but uh, I wouldn't call them mini either. Like you know, eating jalapenos, they're, you know, jalapenos are way smaller and more mini. And yeah, these are not as spicy. Actually, they're not spicy at all. I wouldn't mind some spice, but uh, that's what they're selling, so I bought them. And basically, I just bought them to try to help contain the damage from snacking. So, see how that, that does. So I looked online for a hose nozzle. Um, so I mentioned I was planning to get buy a replacement at Costco, and they didn't have them uh, because the ones that I, so one of them I have is basically defective, and there's another one that's also kind of defective. So I, I think I need to buy two. So. The last two I bought were from Harbor Freight, and yeah, they were not, they didn't last too long. 
So I think I'm gonna spend a little bit more money trying to buy a try to buy something that has a little better quality. But it's really hard to tell what has quality or not. So I was thinking I'd go to Costco because usually the stuff you get at Costco is a uh, higher standard of quality than like the cheapest things that I'll buy elsewhere. Um, but yeah, the store didn't have it, so I looked online, so I can get them online, and I think the shipping will be free, but I think, yeah, the cost online is actually higher than what I remember seeing in the store, so they basically just pre-tacked on the shipping. Out of curiosity, I looked to see if uh, Home Depot sold it. It's the uh, same brand. Uh, they didn't have the exact same package, uh, so the Costco one has like a twofer. It's it's one fancy seven seven way sprayer or seven different uh, setting sprayers, and then it comes, I think, with a um, more generic sprayer. It's uh, the description on what the more generic one ha is. It doesn't have multiple settings, so I guess it's like spray and not spray, maybe. Spray and stream, maybe? I don't know. So I don't know if that one's that useful to me. I kind of like all the fancy options, but so I might have to buy two of those. So I was looking to see if I can get it like at Home Depot, just buy the one I want for cheaper. And the answer seems to be no. It looks like, yeah, the Costco thing is a really good deal. So even buying two of them from Costco is still slightly cheaper than buying a, a single one from a Home Depot. So I might order it from Costco soon. I'm trying to figure out what other things I want to or need. Should look at Target also first. There's some things I kind of want to get from Target. Or Walmart, maybe. Oops. Whoops, I accidentally bumped the up, update button or notification. I, I don't know how I did that. I didn't think my fingers were on the screen, but somehow I, the phone went into the update section, so I stopped it and restarted the feed or the, the recording. So it was like only like 10 seconds. So anyway, yeah, Scruffy's uh, about done here. So it's hot, so I guess you know, makes sense that he wants water. So I don't know if I'm gonna wait for him to groom himself tonight. I think I want to get my uh, dinner going on the barbecue. So let's see uh, where I figure out where he settles. I'll probably just end this. I'm also still dripping sweat, so. I think I really want to take off the protective clothing. Let's see, I'm, I'm getting sweat in my eyes right now. <laughs> so when I went on my bike ride today, it was all spruced up in all my sun protective clothing, including my uh, neck gate to protect my neck from getting burned and uh, yeah I was wearing all sorts of uh, protective clothing and miscellaneous accessories and so there was a person at the park who kind of commented like nice you know nice nice gear <laughs> he's actually I think he's actually sincere so thank you <laughs> but uh, yeah I probably look funny so anyway, yeah, it looks like Scruff is not sticking around, so I guess that's uh, my cue to end this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.